Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? Uh, this is Finite MTG, and today we are back with a Modern Horizons draft, non Phantom. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> this is a Chaos draft. All right. Oh, I was trying to slow roll myself, but I think Force of Vigor That's... is still like 10 plus tickets. Is it 10 plus? I'm Very pretty nice. sure it is. I mean, right now it might be a little bit low, but. We didn't come here not to take, yeah, Ooh. 10 ticket rares. For sure. Easy. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? This is Finite MTG, and today I am joined by my friend Crackshot, aka Jakob. Yay, lottery time! <laughs> <laughs> yep, and we are here playing the lottery, or um, drafting Modern Horizons non Phantom. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is a decent pack. Like you have Thundering Jin is a very good card. Defile, Cycling Lands are always good. Um, cohorts, okay. What would you take here if not for the eleven dollar card? Defile, I'm pretty sure. Defile, yeah, that's fair. Yep. I really liked um, a lot of the cards for the blue red archetype, but I felt like I could never do much better than like two one with it. Okay. Um, so we have three good black cards in a Pondering Mage. I would even say we have four good black cards. I like them all. You like the Rank Officer too? Okay. Yeah. Like, not nearly as much as Defile and Mob. Um, after that comes to Grave and after the Rank Officer, but I do like them all. Um, do you have a preference here? Not really. Hmm. Thinking about taking mob because it's not conditional i think mob was the, is the best here yeah yeah okay it's kind of sad passing two defiles in a row so we're probably going to put someone into black but i mean these are the earliest picks so i don't think you're supposed to like <laughs> take the blue card um just because no. you're passing black cards Ooh, interesting so King of the Pride, if we want to play black-white, which generally I think white is considered the worst color, the kind of color you only yeah. want to play if nothing else is open. We do have a Mother Bear here, which is very good. And we have Munitions Expert, which is also very good. I do like Goblins, but if you prefer taking the bear, I'm okay with that. I think it's really close because I think Expert is a great goblin card uh, and it makes the mob better sort of in that like you're going to have a bunch of cheap creatures to sort of ramp out the mob. Um, Mother Bear, I mean, green black I don't think is quite as... That's not really a thing, yeah. Yeah. I'll take the Expert, but I think Bear could be a better or maybe more disciplined pick. Okay, well, carry and feeder, I guess. Oh, but there's a goblin war party. Hmm. There's also a conifer worm. Yeah, and a trumpeting herd. Which I herd. think is a sign. Yeah, I mean, I do think green is looking pretty open, right? Like, we passed the mother bear, we have trumpeting herd, which is probably the best green common, uh, and conifer worm in the pack. But I also think we have a very nice start to goblins, and we can just kind of close our eyes and pretend the green isn't here. I would be okay with that, yeah. But would, would, which of the green cards would you pick here, if you take a green card? Oh, that's a great question, because I'm not really sure about going into, like, snow, per se, but it, snow is also the best green deck, I think, so... <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. So it's either Carrion Feeder for me or the Worm. Oh, okay. I'll take oh, the Feeder, would... then. Yeah, I will take Carrion Feeder. Um... Isn't Oof also money? Yeah, Oof is like 10 tickets too, I think. Wow. Thank you for saying that, because I was really disappointed with this pack, but... uh, Oh, wait. Whoa, that's, it dropped so much. Bad. What happened? It was five a few days ago, I think, but... I mean, it's being drafted right now. It might go back up, depending which artifact data people need. I mean, this is a very underwhelming pack. Technically, we still have outs to like, play a deck where Oof could make our main. And I do think price-wise it'll probably go back up, so I think it's kind of reasonable. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine taking it here. But there's like no card that I'm really excited to play in any color. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. So we get oh, a Petrid Goblin. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yes, yes. Also seeing the Scavenger here is um, great news. Right. I do like Scavenger, but I feel like 
Putrid Goblin as a card where I would play like almost ten of them in a goblin deck. Yep. And like Scavenger is a card that yeah, you'd play like one or two. Okay, now we have this pack. I don't like I mean it. you could take the tree folk umber. If we're getting a lot of the slugs later, then it's a kind of funny combo. Uh the tree folk umbra, yeah, that's true. I feel you like put it I on the slack, a... but we haven't seen any slugs. Do you think I should take a black card for signaling? You could take the edict, it's a decent sideboard card. I guess I will. It's okay against ninjas if you can like set yep. up a good position against them sometimes. I think Oh that's nice. Yeah, so we can get a scavenger here. Hellraiser yeah, yeah, yeah. is a card where like it looks much better than it is, I think, because it just forces you to play off curve and that's bad. <laughs> I still think it's just good anyway. But I'm on the scavenger here too. Okay. Yeah, it's kinda weird because like we could technically not be black red, but I do think black red like we're only really committed to black. I don't know. I don't think there's really another compelling archetype to play here, though. Do you like the Spectre or the Gold Nap in case we get enough uh, sec outlets? Um, I think Spectre is like a super underwhelming card, but I imagine we can get a Goat Nap even later. I'm, I'll take Spectre, but I think it's probably worse. Okay. So, okay. you like the rank officer? I still like it, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, there's three black cards gone from this pack, so. Yeah, but they were also, like, I don't know, good. <laughs> we took one yeah, of yeah. them, and yeah. Um, I still, I mean, the only other card that I like from this pack is Winding Way, so I think this is still a good sign for us. I mean, it seems like it black is. and green have been, ooh, Lava Dart and there Unearth. I think I want Unearth here, but Lava Dart, see, Lava Dart is also. It's nice that we're not committed to red. Yeah, but we kind of are, right? Like, we we passed so much green. Yeah, but, I mean, could still be black-white, maybe? I don't know. We don't really have the cards that black-white wants, but... Well, I guess we can start picking them up. <laughs> uh, not that this is, you know, a very exciting card for the black-white deck, but, I mean, it's not horrendous with sack outlets. I think yeah. Thornado's kind of whatever. Uh, has anyone ever cast a sadistic obsession i don't think so i'll just take this for signaling i guess yep and there's your tree folk umbra yeah so maybe we are uh <laughs> audibling into the slug deck let's buy another uh ticket at the lottery <laughs> Ooh, giver is that worth anything i think it should be yeah that works <laughs> Um, oh, we are passing a war party here, and I mean slug, I guess. That's I love slug. Yeah, I am a big. We could be black white now. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yeah, this is uh, unlike the other rares. I mean, this is something that's like actually exciting to put in your deck. Yeah, I had a good sure. black white deck um, back when the format was originally out with the giver. Ooh, interesting. So. I do love Nether Spirit, but I don't think I ever take that card from this pack. Undead Augur yeah. is very, very good. Putrid Goblin and would also be very good. But then we have the Ingenious Infiltrator. This is clearly Undead Augur. We have Carrion Feeder, we have Putrid Goblin, we have Rank Officer, we have Zilmgar Scavenger. Um, then it goes good with the... If we end up wide, it's great with the Changelings. It's just amazing here, I think. All right. Yeah, I think you're I think you're a hundred percent right. Almost all of our creatures are zombies, so yeah, this card's Let's just... hope we wield another rank officer from this pack or or maybe the changeling or something. Yeah. Um I mean I think the changeling is a good card, but yeah, rank officer and changeling, not even cards I talked about. There's just so much wow. Now we take Crypt Rats, I guess, over the slug and the goblin. I would take the goblin. I'm not a big yeah. fan of the crypt rats in the format. I'm just thinking, like, because we're going to be so good at, like, getting black mana Activating for the rat. Activating big. Yeah. yeah. But I like the goblin anyway. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Uh, we're not, like, guaranteed a lot of them. And, yeah, we still have outs to be... I mean, 
whether we're black red or black white presumably white is our other option at this point i do think this card will be very good in our deck so gotta love formats where the uh cards overlap very nicely uh with different archetypes this is hard for me you know what are you looking at like outcast versus slug exactly i don't like no outcast. actually rank versus slug i think outcast i'm not so hot on in this deck it's yeah. a it's a ninja's card mostly yeah i don't like um outcast very much here either i'm i then, think i'm on slug i still think i yeah, just want then. more two drops and i think we have a yep. good shot at wheeling the other one another king of the pride by the way hmm well <sighs> twisted reflection is a very good blue black card we also have lava dart and again a mother bear uh, i don't know i think i'm kind of leaning reflection just because i think it's the best card even though i mean we could take a vesper lark and it's good with the stepmom and the carrion feeder and the uh, slug yeah maybe that's just the right choice what do you think i don't like getting into blue like in pick one there was almost no blue yeah i think you're probably right even though it's the best card i think we'll just i yeah. mean we'll take one of the worst cards out of the like four we were thinking about and it's probably a better choice for our deck okay um uh well, is that i always forget what this card does is it it's almost like a counter spell in the sense that it hits okay well it's literally worthless um is it a three mana cradle to grave or yeah i think it kind of well but a mass cradle to grave i guess or wait wow. cradle has and a also non black clause like, yeah. yeah yeah but it's very similar hmm. i think it's pretty easily the pick over like secluded step it might be the pick yes but i do like this step also a bit but yeah i'll i'll just take it i mean it's yeah. not the best card but just okay interesting so really nothing interesting for white uh i think now we have to take lava dart over smoke shaker yeah i think so too yeah okay the black ninja i guess for signaling maybe sure this isn't good for us <laughs> so not really no we took Giver out of this pack. I don't remember what was here other than that, but I think the next one was the Undead Augur pack. We're going to need at least some yep. black cards there. <laughs> yes, we do need that. I guess I take, like, maybe a white card for signaling. I would take a white card, yes, but I'm not sure which one. I don't know. I think they're both whatever. Oh, this is very good for us. Three black cards come That's back. That's amazing. Yeah. Can't believe our luck. <laughs> All right, what do you want here? I, I want Goblin, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is really tough. Like, they would all be good for different reasons. If we went the King of the Pride route, we could take the Changeling, but yeah, I'll take the Goblin over the rank. Now we could take our Goat Map. Astro Drift is never doing anything for us, right? I don't know if it ever does anything for anyone. <laughs> I mean, it's better than the Astral Slide, but... Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, you can sign it for an effect already, but um, I think it's not, not amazing. Easy. Oh, that's a gift. Very <laughs> nice. Uh, I guess we take another Lava Dart. Yeah. Any chance we want... We are a Reckless Charge deck? I don't think so. I don't really know. Okay. Yeah, then we take the Lava Dart. Um, um... I also feel like um, Reckless Charge is a card you can expect to get very late. All right. Ah, oh, Hall of Heliod's no. generosity. Heliod could have been a little more generous to the uh, lottery foundation here. <laughs> yeah, but a mob is nice pickup. Yeah, you like mob over the war party. I mean, it makes sense. We still don't really know our second color. Yep. And I think I still like it over it anyway. Even if we were solidly in in red black. Fair. Maybe we'll get past another um, oof or something. Oh, how about another munitions expert? Well, that might sway me in the solidly black-red. Yeah, sorry Vesper Lurk. And sorry Magmatic Sinkhole too. 
Um, that was a very nice pick. It's kind of sad that like we're an extremely good undead auger deck, but we're only like a decent like munitions expert deck. <laughs> yeah, that might change though in the next packs. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I do think it's the pick. Oh, Pyro now? Yeah. I do think we... Like, I don't have a ton of respect for the black-white, like, changeling deck, but I do think that there is, like, a very good black-white deck from this seat. I don't know. There wasn't so much white. Like, pack 2 was really cut very hard. Yeah, that's true. It just feels like we've seen a lot of the, like... Yeah. Better cards. Hmm. Well, it's Altar of Dementia. It's a foil, but it feels like it can't be very expensive. Yeah. No. <laughs> nope. But is it good in our deck? Uh, I don't really value milling. Uh, but... It's only power, not not a fixed value. Hmm. Um. I mean, otherwise it's like an Umazawa's charm, so maybe we're just supposed to take it and like it makes the goat nap a little closer to playable or something. I don't know. I think it's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean the Rocks Veteran is a pretty strong card if we would end up wide, but I think with two munitions deck for it probably not happening. Yeah, I don't think so. Um hmm. <laughs> Sure, we'll take a silly altar. I hate Umazawa's charm. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> yeah, but it pains me a little bit that now everything is in the same pack again. But yeah, easy munitions expert. Yeah, I mean, maybe we can wheel a scavenger. Um, I think we might have seen one earlier too. Okay, now we can take a... An Umazawa's charm. Maybe we even take this cave. Any chance we take uh, a universal automaton? Uh, With triple munitions expert? Yeah, it's not super unreasonable. It's like a worse changeling outcast, sort of. Makes the mobs a bit better. I don't know. The Undead Augur also draws card with it. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's something we could put in the deck. Maybe it's even worth it. Sure. I mean, we're trying to have a low curve. Seems like it could be better than the cave. I really wish Umazawa's Charm was printed at one mana. But, I mean, I guess they just needed to make the file way better. That's not nice. Yeah, so it's Scavenger... It's not the wheel yet, right? What'd you say? Is, it, is this the wheel already? No. Um... No. So we might be getting a few more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this is pretty good for us. Yep. Um, we might even oh wow. Oh nice. Very nice. Yeah. Got the playset. <laughs> pretty close to the playset of experts as well. <clears throat> oh, that was a great wheel. Amazing. Oh yes, that is amazing. Oh, these experts just got so much better. <laughs> Um, Only snow covered planes as uh, a value pick. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I don't think we're ever supposed to play either of these. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter. I am waiting for the day that strategic planning will be printed at instant speed. Uh, there's another one. I guess I chose wrong. The goblin? Sure. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. Feels a little rough on the mana, but it could be worth it. Okay. The lava dots are so very rough on the mana. I don't think we would main deck those. Yeah, it's... I'm not really sure about that. Like, we could play one. I do think second specter comes in. Yeah, the gold map is not doing it for me. What, you don't like... 8 mana, like, Goat Nap into Scavenger? I like it, but it's not very realistic. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I really wish we had more um, sack outlets. Like, a again, a Bogarden Dragonheart. How many lands do you want 
slash how many cuts do you want to make here? I know playing 16 is a bit greedy, I think. I feel like it's not that greedy just because like the mobs are closer to like three mana or something, and when you do that, like the curve looks a lot more reasonable. But yeah, but we can discard access lands to the rank officer, and uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's weird because it should be really easy for us to get the black mana that we need, but I'm not very confident about the red mana. Like, particularly, you know, except for War Party, all of our red cards are one or two mana, so. Yeah, but you don't necessarily need to curve the munitions experts on two, so. Right, that's true. <laughs> yeah, and I guess even if we did, then we don't really need lava darts, right? Because yeah, <laughs> then we're playing. I think lava darts can. Yeah, make both go. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And then we just ship this. I think so. Yeah, I think this deck could have been a little better. Like red wasn't super open, but I mean, I do think we made a lot of really good picks, uh, and we got some very good wheels. Um, and we also threw away some picks, like taking cards that are worth money. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just true. Uh, okay, so I don't think three. <laughs> not enough. Not quite. I think minimally like five or six, but maybe even seven. I think six seems like. Six is reasonable, Good. I think, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, again, this deck would love, oh, you know what would make this deck great? We need a Yogmoth. We're a Yogmoth oh, away yeah. from greatness. Yeah. This is a keep, but it's not spectacular. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Let's just find a Putrid Goblin on two, and then a land. Yeah. <laughs> I'd take a Slug as well. <laughs> oh, do we block and uh, trade? I think we would, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of sad, but I think it's probably correct. It's not really sad because... Um, okay, maybe not. I, th I thought this could still maybe be a ninja's deck. I still think it's probably the play. I don't think experts do Yeah, much. I think so too. Yeah. Still looking for lands. Just getting to use this mana for anything is, is kind of nice. Right. That is a cool interaction, though. Sigrid with... Um, I assume you want Spectre here over Augur? I think we want to use our mana, yes. Yeah. Um, Sigrid against the uh, Maskwood Nexus. Ah, oh, mask would, yeah. Uh -uh. Okay, land, please. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> mob, please. But I guess we can't even mob it this turn. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's not looking good. I guess we're attacking or playing an Undead Ogre. <laughs> There's not like many options. Yeah. This is like, oh, I guess the uh, experts aren't zombies either, but oh god, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> mm. They have a pretty nice draw over there. I mean, all Snowlands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not realistic. I think I left. Be dead. All right, I thought I left Kaldheim, but I guess I didn't. Uh, okay, so I guess we have to rank officer, kind of. I mean, you could, yeah, don't... yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rank officer. And then, what do you want to pitch here? I think you want to pitch munitions expert. Yeah, I think so too. Attack. But if we get to. 
Probably not, right? We just die. Yeah, because even if we no, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, attack. Even if, if they if play another block, snow permanent, right? Yeah, if they play another snow permanent, then we need to triple block, and even if yeah. we double block, we're going to be losing some life. So, yeah, I would be fine with a triple block all trading if we draw two cards from that. But would you? Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Well, actually, maybe it's reasonable. I was going to say, if they don't do anything here... Okay, so yeah, if they play like a non-snow permanent, would you triple block just to like not take trample damage? I mean, it's basically a chump at that point. No, I would not. Yeah. I guess they can't really attack here. If they have the bounce spell, nice. Okay, so... Oh, nice. If we draw like a land or something worthless, that makes our rank officer better. Hmm, that's not worthless. What do you think here? And can we attack with the specter after doing something? I kind of do like attacking with the specter and playing the the goblin. The war party. Or oh uh, no, I would play the future goblin. Sure, and then so we can shoot draining. with the uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's very slow clock, but. Like, if we don't do anything, the wizard will kill us at some point. The problem I have with playing the Putrid Goblin is now that we've attacked, it feels like I really want to spend my mana a little bit better and have a little more board presence. But the Goblin is very good board presence, I think, on this board. I guess. It just feels like they're getting close to a point where they can send in their big idiots and we'll be in trouble. I feel like we're not at that point. We're on 17 live. Okay. We have good double blocks. I'll trust your instincts here. Bluffing the uh, third munitions expert here. <laughs> Little do they know. Yeah. Hmm. I am a little worried here. Okay. Yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> So they could have, I'm... like, one of the worst things here would be a Blizzard Strix. I don't think I want to play around all too much here. I'm just triple blocking the Tree Folk and hoping that sticks. Like this? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Here goes. And I'll make sure I activate here. Okay, well, they're not doing anything. I like that. Okay, so we draw a million cards, lose a million life. We might be okay. I do like drawing cards. <laughs> oh, mob? That card is really dangerous now, yeah. Mm, we can't quite pyro that either. You could try to attack with a specter. <laughs> Yeah, I, actually, I mean, I do think we could probably maybe get even more aggressive than that with attacks, like send a Putrid Goblin too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean the, we, ha we have to do something block. here. It's very easy for them to draw one card, attack with the Thundering thing, and just, like, shoot something important to us anyway, so. Yeah. This has to read like a Pyrophobia, though. I was really worried when they yeah, played... Yeah, I think that's the block they would do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's still okay for us. Right. I was worried when they played... Oh, interesting. Um, when they played Urza, but the, the Urza hasn't really done much. It's just been like a blocker. You know, we just double Putrid Goblin? I think so. And then maybe we're at the point where we have to block with an Undead Augur so we stop losing so much life. Yeah, maybe. A few more is probably still fine, but... I did think we would be in, like, much worse shape than we are. Not saying that we're, like, alive, but <laughs> I did think we would be dead by now. No, they're just spinning the Urza. 
not really sure what's going on here. We still have a couple of cards in hand. Oh, okay, that will kill us, but we can also pyro it. Yeah, it is. It's target for pyro. Okay. That is the problem, that this kills us pretty quickly. And... If we pyro this, or if we play scavenger, we just... Yeah. So we need mob here? Yeah, we need mob. Yeah, we do, we mob do would have, work very nicely. So. We have a redraw at it as well. So now we can scavenger, sack auger, basically digging for mob. Yeah, we can't afford to keep it on the board, right? Um, to keep what or uh, auger? No, yeah, we would or die. auger on the board because that means that we can't really block with the goblins anymore. They can just jump attack in, or oh, well, like, yeah. All right, playing to our outs. I mean, I guess we have the. Spectre. We have two of them. Yeah, we do have two. Okay, well, not in amazing shape here. Uh, the problem is this is a double jump. Yeah. Um, and if they, I mean, if they if draw they a card, we die to, oh, actually, if they draw another card, then maybe they can't activate the Chiller Pillar. We drew our card a little bit in the wrong order in this game. Yeah, but that, for sure. Not terrible. The Undead Augur was definitely super important, but it still feels like it wasn't enough, unfortunately. Maybe we need to board in Umazawa's charm, gain two life. <laughs> so this is hers. Oh, okay, so we're just dead. Yeah, okay. Funny that they were hellbent actually there um, before they drew a couple cards, <laughs> and we never yep. were for the uh, Spectre. But, I mean, that's how it goes. Um,. Do you think that, like, a Mind Rake or, like, an Edict would be interesting against them? I want the Edict, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe Mind Rake would make more sense when we're on the draw or something. Um, what do you want to cut for the Edict? Maybe one of the weakest cards here? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, this looks good yes this time we need two lands um sort of to get going but we, at least we do have a two drop to start things off so right and this time the expert can actually act like a two for one <laughs> yeah this is already a much better draw i think nice I thought their deck would be like kind of bad after seeing them play Icehide Golem because that's just never a card I've wanted to play, but their deck actually looked quite quite good, so. Ooh. They seem to have a million snowlands, yeah. Well how about the nut draw here? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> then they go swamp. Um whatever it's called. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Dead of, Dead of Winter? Yeah. yeah. No, thanks. Astrolabe. No, okay. <laughs> but that dies to the expert. It does indeed. Let's just do that, I guess. They even waited uh, to play about Paramia or something. <laughs> right. Which makes sense because we did... Um, we didn't even cast it uh, the previous game, but we did telegraph it pretty hard with the Spectre attack. Yeah, and also, it's not like the Frostwaller would block the Putrid Goblin anyway, and the attack also is not very important for them, so I think that if they don't have anything else to do, it was just a good play by them. Right. <clears throat> okay, well, I don't think this is going to cut it from them. They can block two damage and take 
uh, what is that? Six. What does the scavenger do? Uh, kills them. Yeah, I think so, right? It gains haste, <laughs> right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so yeah, if we find land, we sack Putrid Goblin, because it's like getting blocked anyway, and it's the best to sacrifice, and then they die. Or we do that, and they also die. All that. <laughs> yeah. Brilliantly sideboarded. 10,000 <laughs> IQ. Nice. Okay, so... Speaking of brilliant sideboarding, do we want a Mind Rake now? Because presumably they'll be on the play, they'll have fewer cards, going after someone's hand is more effective when they have fewer cards. Okay. I don't love it, but I'm okay with it. The only problem is they're so slow, I think, at getting their stuff into play. I mean, game one was pretty different than game two, obviously. Like, we had our nut draw in game two, game one, like... What do you think about taking out Force of Despair. Um, yeah. It might just not be a good card in our deck. I do think it maybe is a bit better on the draw because it's not as embarrassing to, like, two-for-one ourselves. But, yeah. Maybe you keep it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I might want to see how it just works. I've not seen it in action ever. I actually think we probably want to keep it just because, like, I imagine... Like, let's say they go Urza, for instance, and we, like... Yeah, that's the best answer to that, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like our deck the way it looks right now. Yeah, I think we can ship it. Okay. I do like our deck a lot. Yeah. It's, it's fun and to play. And we like our hand also. Yeah. Pretty similar to game two here, which, I mean, with, like... A play set of putrid goblins and three munitions experts. Not super <laughs> unreasonable. Come up. Yeah. I am a little bit um you know, uncertain about why they went with these like magic origins lands. Um <laughs> but I guess they had to go with something, so they are on the mulligan? Um, five? But they it presumably mulliganed a lot. Yeah, Mold of five. five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's going to die to the expert in a couple turns. That's about exactly what what we want to see out of the five card hand, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like some low impact. Low impact thing that enables our two for ones. Yeah. And how about uh, all the lands we need to curve out? <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I'm liking the way this is going. Astrolabing. Okay. For red. I'm extremely happy about that. And no attack. Oh, so they're very afraid of us. Got it. Yeah, please. <laughs> Do yeah, the deed. I'm... A little confused about why that's a May. I guess it's not only your opponent's control. I guess nowadays, though, it would be up to one. Anyway, not that it really matters. Okay, do you think they have... Is there anything that can get us here? I don't really think so. Might still want to play the auger here. Is there a chance of that? Because that means that next the turn after you can scavenger and eat the goblin and draw a card. I think I and just want to be you mana can kick the war party. Here. Yeah, but the one ones the, if they put something bigger on the board, the one ones might not be doing so much. And the auger in play means that we can draw the card from the scavenger. Yeah. Okay. You sold me. I feel like they're just on like two lands here or something like very sad. Ooh, I do love Spring Bloom Druid. It's not particularly good for them here, but it's probably my favorite card yep. at common in this set. Okay, so I guess we just scavenger it up. Yeah, I think so. Draw a card.
if they trade for the expert, that triggers the scavenger as well. We can go slug into war party into putrid goblin or something. Yeah. Or we wait to. Oh yeah, we can just um, war party like entwine next turn. Yeah. So I guess this did turn we, we go slug. Did we miss into... lethal? Huh? Um. Ah um... uh, no, it was one off. One off lethal. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, that doesn't seem like nearly enough. But I guess one off. I mean, that's much closer than I would have guessed. This is such a nice board. Like knowing that even if the opponent will rot the board, we're just drawing three cards and getting a creature back. <laughs> right, yeah. I always forget this thing is a zombie. And it happens. <laughs> yeah, fine. I mean it's what they need to come back, but still like <laughs> Alright. Let's hope they don't have a counter for our war party. Yeah. <laughs> Party time. Yay. Okay. That was, was nice. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Um, so we're a little light on lands, but I think we have to keep this. I think so too. We are on the draw, draw right? Yeah. Yeah. Any land casts two of the cards in our hand. Mountain casts in three. Uh, this card. Okay. So. <sighs> Are you okay with just attack inspector? Or do you want to play the scared like I am kind of thinking about? <laughs> uh, this is really hard for me. We could also pyrophobia it. I think using our mana should probably be better, right? Yeah. So let's just and attack we... two, I think. Yeah. 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 If they and hit if us they... with three points of lifelink, then it feels bad, but they probably didn't do that and ninjutsu. Yeah. That's exactly. sad. If they if they attack us here, then we block. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's very bad. Okay. Now we're not attacking yeah, anymore. No, we're not. But. Um. Oh. Actually, we can double spell. So we can... Yeah, just... we should double spell. Yeah. So I'll just kill this. Yeah. And I think we can attack now. I think so too, yeah. I am not an expert on this format. I have not played much of it. But like we are playing against two of the best archetypes here in a row snow and ninjas and i don't know it feels like we're in the big leagues oh well then they play Oop. that card which is not amazing they chose phyrexian evil doers <laughs> i mean if they pulled off the uh the mirin i would be very impressed okay so now we can I kind of think we scavenger and don't sack anything. Yeah, scavenger, don't sack anything, attack, attack with both. both. Yep. Next turn we can double spell. We have <laughs> the quad black we need. What have they discarded? Uh, the 2-2 two, two, uh, unearth. Uh, that's interesting, at least. yeah. It's starting to make me think that they're blue-black, but not really ninjas. Whoa. I mean, I've seen... Why would you ever block there? I don't understand either. I mean, I guess... Wow. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I don't understand still, but I'll take it. It's kind of funny, too. Like, we just... Could they of... also have a Wrath somewhere in their hand? I don't think so. It's like we just took a counter from here and moved it there. <laughs> okay. So now we have like a super easy play 
attack with the two things that have two plus power and just play two three drops. Yeah. And I think we're in very good shape. If they like smoke shroud us, we can still like double block or something. Need to tap correctly. That's the one thing that I could do wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> True. You really oh, need the quad black. Yeah. <laughs> and we're almost hellbent for the um, the specters as well. They were paying costs there end of turn, it looked like, which means they have some kind of instant, I think. Or. Okay, that is one of the worst options, like, in terms of things for us here. Is it? I'm really fine with this. I mean, I would like to make them discard two next turn. Okay, so you're thinking just... I'm chomping. Yeah, chump, put a counter on the thing, just a huge attack in the air. Yeah, I guess you're totally right. I was thinking we would probably just cycle this, but... Yeah, I mean, now this we can way... cast it. Right, yeah. The Spectre, is it random discard or? Um, I don't think so. Oh, it is. Yeah. All right, him to Turok you, I guess. And this is just better, obviously, than making a token. Yep. Go to three as well. Yeah, string. Okay, so they did have an instant end of turn in the slug. Yeah, I guess they're just dead. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, good thing I listened to you and uh, didn't block with the uh, specter. I'm still like afraid that ninjas is going to be like good, but I don't think their deck is nearly as streamlined as our first opponents. Yeah, it is. I I, I really think it isn't. The first match would have been very rough if the opponent didn't mind into five. I think this could be another Edict matchup, like, again, over the Automaton. Uh, which cards did they show us? Because against the good ninja decks, Lava Darts is also a real option. Because mm -hmm. they will have the Seer, the Fairy Seer, and they will have the, the Changeling Outcast. Yeah, we and didn't, we didn't the Lava see Darts any of those, though. Their smallest stuff. Yeah. Like, exactly. they had Mana War, they had the Throat Seeker, and then they had, like, bigger stuff. Yeah, I think it's too early to board in the Lava Darts, but if, if they would be a good version, then Lava Darts would be a great sideboard. Yeah, I agree. I think I'm putting in the Edict. Yeah, I agree. Okay, nice. Now the question is, did we miss build? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Had okay. they shown us one Putrid Goblin, I would not have been happy about the... Is this a mulligan? I don't think so. I but... think it's very close to one, actually. Like, both colors of mana, 3-drop, 4-drop, 5-drop, we're just missing a 2-drop, we have to draw steps to get there. Yeah, okay. Just really afraid of this falling behind on, on board. And... <laughs> yeah, I mean, against, like, traditional ninjas, I agree. Like, basically against the Lava Dart deck. Yeah. And we could still, uh, we could still be in very bad shape here. We really need, like, a 1-1 uh, one, one flash thing. That's not it. Yikes. I think they mulliganed as well, but if they have the thing that makes a token here, I mean, we're almost just dead. <laughs> yeah, that's how the ninjas go, right? Yeah, I guess. It's weird because... Okay. Yeah, we're dead. Dang. Not literally, but pretty close. They showed us the bounce spell. If they have any interaction here... Ah, oh, turn late. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll do our best. They're at least missing black mana for now. And they are on a mulligan. Maybe they don't have everything here. That's true. But... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we... Unless we draw another two drop, yeah, we just play the war party and... Yep. Yeah. 
very sad. I'm still not completely out of this, actually, but... No, but we're also not really in it. I mean, we're taking minimally two damage in the air. Okay, I do think we have to... Oh, okay. Well, we definitely yeah. put two in front of this. I don't think we're chump blocking here. And I... Do you want to play around string? No, 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 no. Yeah. We are too far behind to play around this card here. This is... Weird attack, though. Like, I don't think I attack with the Shinobi in their spot. And then play this post combat. Yeah. We like, imagine you okay. see, now see here are strings on top of your library. Aren't you hating yourself? <laughs> Pretty much, right? I think. I know we knew they had this, yeah. I think we actually are okay here because we can, like, with these two cards, the 2 2 flyer lines up really nicely against the illusions yep. and the putrid goblin against the mana war and the regular goblin. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they are up on cards, and I don't know. I mean, we could definitely get wrecked here. Okay, but I think this is still good for us. The Watcher is just such a strong card. It's kind of really crazy. It's weird because I don't think blue is like a spectacular color in this format. I mean, I think it's pretty good, but I think that Watcher is like better than a lot of the blue cards. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess now with that in play, we're happier sacking the Putrid Goblin here. Yeah. Do you attack? With the Spectre. You do? No. No, no. Yeah, I mean... I don't think I do. It's trading for an uh, Icard. Right, yeah, I don't think that's great. If we can just find you... a two-drop next turn, then... I mean, we could attack with the Scavenger, but I think that's a little too risky. I think so too. I think next turn you can start attacking. Let's just find Even with the... Let's find a putrid goblin. We can double spell and make our scavenger very good. It is a little bit worse against the Mast Masticore, but I think this card's quite bad. Yeah, I think it's a sideboard card mostly. Yeah, that seems right. And it's uh, an option for the for the Persist combo sack deck that's... <laughs> hmm. uh, oh, okay. Do we sack Scavenger to Scavenger? That seems that, wrong. That... I think you could sack the Augur. I think we have to. Like, I mean, that's the obvious line, but I think just because I we're lower on life, it nothing. makes sense. Sacking nothing is also an option, right? Yeah. I think this is better, though. And I think we can start really putting some pressure on them. Yeah. Maybe we just... Then maybe only with a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I like this. Rank officer already has the fuel it needs to in the graveyard and a land in hand. Yep. Uh, that's not good. Could be dying here. What would be the worst card? Something that bounces and draws or something? Like. No, the worst card would just be if they had uh, a Swamp here and the 6-3 Ninja because it would just kill us. But <laughs> oh. ah, or they had that. Wait. Are we dead? When... Ah, they discarded this to the Man Manticore. Oh. We didn't pay attention to it. Yeah, me neither. Uh, this is 7. We go to 1. Alive. <laughs> Technically alive. <clears throat> yeah, that was a brutal string. And again, that card... Um, is there anything that could get us out of this? Maybe, uh... We... 
No, it doesn't no, do it. Not nothing that expensive, definitely. Yeah. yeah. If, so we, if we had the um, munitions expert, we could kill one of their flyers, um, play scavenger. Yeah. And then still die to the ping. <laughs> no, the ping doesn't go first, right? No, but they can kill the uh, expert. And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, maybe this tech was just bad because we should have seen that it wasn't their graveyard, but... Yeah, I mean, that's possible, but I think really the thing that got us was the string, and we really didn't know that was coming, so... Um, okay, so they've demonstrated in game two that they are capable of good draws, uh, unlike game one. So, do we now put in the respectful no. lava dart? Or... No, lava dart too, doesn't do much. I yeah, think. that's true. It's too bad. They didn't show the one drops, still. And only the two one, uh, like the watcher, is, I think, not enough to put lava dart in. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's run it back. I think we have a good chance if we get on the board early. I'm still sad because I think that last game goes totally differently if we just hit the Putrid Goblin on turn 2 instead of turn 3. Yes, that's true. So, the now question is, is this <laughs> the same as last time a Mulligan or not? Has we get the 3, 4, 5? It feels a little worse. I think... I don't know. Just being on the play means we're like it's worse if we mulligan, but also we have fewer chances to hit the two drop on time. Yeah, I think we can keep this, but yeah, I think we still need to again close. This is the yeah, again, a close one. Like our leg is full of two drops. Yeah, we do have a lot of twos. It's pretty unlikely with only one draw step that we get there. Um, yeah. Oh, I think last game I might have said something false. I might have said that we had three draws to get it by turn two, which is not possible. <laughs> okay, well, got some rank officer fuel, I guess. Okay. This does seem like it works better when we are on the play, like missing our two drop. Yeah. It's still very sad. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. Uh, like if they just mana war us, I don't know. I do think mana war is an excellent card, um, not yep. just like um, in general, but specifically in this format. I think Scour is really bad in their deck. They are like the ninja deck. If it works well, is a, a real tempo deck. Like the mana war here would have been brutal, but the Scour are like it's a sigh of relief from me. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, we take three here, but whatever. Oh, you don't want to trade? Ah, uh, we could trade. Yeah. No, trade is fine. Okay. Like, I think it's um, also fine to take it because Ooh. they... Oh, that makes it obviously really good that you trade it. <laughs> yeah. Still pitching away um, here. But they couldn't ninja ninjutsu anything in anymore. Right. Um... So it would have been fine to take it, but that still leaves us in the position where they could do it later, so trade is probably the correct play. They're kind of in a weird spot with their deck, where, like... Uh, okay, we can't kill that. Um, do you... I think this is a scavenger no-sack situation. Is it, but what about the attacks? Yeah. Uh, do we have any attacks? I think we are supposed to attack with the zombie because like specifically against mana war and string i'm okay with yep. them bouncing rank officer um yep. whereas, I like yeah whereas yeah so i'll do this pre-combat not show them anything uh that was wrong <laughs> i don't know yeah that was it's close that was wrong. But... <laughs> i mean they it's, don't i think it's very unlikely they block anyway yeah. And the question is, do we want to make them block? Then this line was better, I guess. <laughs> I think actually I'm happy if they block there, even if we miss out on the the counter. Yeah, that's true. However, in game one, they did make that extremely strange blocking decision. So, so just looking at unearth, holding up expert, 
we'll see what our draw is, but no more attacks on the ground, unfortunately. Sure, but the scavenger can get in there. Right. Um, I was going to say, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think that the um, scour is bad in, in their deck for the same reason I think the... Uh, ooh. Ooh, yes. Do we... Well, I guess we have mana to do it all. Question is whether you want to fire off expert now. I don't really think so, but the question is do you attack with the zombie anyway now? I think maybe you do. Then maybe you don't show them what's in our hand and Yeah. Okay. Getting that out of the way while they're tapped out is really nice. For sure. Once they have the string back up, then um, really would be really cautious, but this was nice. We have four blockers. There's like a 0% chance that we get hit by their, um, whatever you call it, their Moonblade. Nah, it's not zero, like <laughs> Smoke Shroud and Meadow War or something stupid like that. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, I am totally fine with that. <clears throat> now I think I'm getting rid of Expert. Yep, I agree. But we want to make them discard. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we are leaving them a uh, chance to ninjutsu now, but they're discarding one and then have one card left. What did they discard? Not the uh, unearth guy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... We have to block this. Um, I want to block the Mana War too. Me too. It's just worse for us if they ninjutsu yeah, that. If, yeah, 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 yeah. If they ninjutsu the, the Goblin, that's fine with me. Yeah. They get some scries for their trouble. Yeah. We get some counters and some dudes. <laughs> yep. How about an enormous Silengar Scavenger? Very, like, actually a 100% chance we can be hellbent here if we want to be. So they're going to have to discard again. Unless they have something that can interact with the uh, flyer. I was almost sure they would have some kind of ninja here. Oh. Okay. But is that even good? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we play that? Yes. Like, we go to combat, they activate X's 1, we sack one thing. They activate X's 2, we sack... Yeah, so it's just fine, right? Yep. Okay. I think their play is now just to activate in response and... Uh... Oh, or not. <laughs> I think we attack with the... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah. So they're just going to activate now, presumably. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, I do think they were supposed to activate in response, obviously. <laughs> um, oh, these are auto-yielded. I was like, did we miss some triggers? But no. <laughs> <laughs> now they go to uh, two, I guess. Okay. Yay! On to the finals. Yep. Good deck. Ooh, we have the uh, slug rank officer combo. This is a very yeah, yeah. This is very nice. Ooh, slivers. I had to think. Yep. For a second too. Well, this could be rough for us. Oh, but we have a good hand against them, though. Yeah, we do. I imagine we have to block. I don't know what kind of combat tricks there are. 
I mean, there's Shelter, which doesn't do anything. Lava Dart? Lava Dart would be unfortunate. That's, that's true. Let's just do it. Oh, well, that's... Yeah. Okay. I still think it's fine. Maybe we shouldn't have blocked, but I... I feel like you have to block in that spot just because like it's a free attack and most of the time they don't have anything. Yeah. But on the other hand, yeah, no. I do think you're supposed to block. I mean, if there, there is a chance that because we think we are Ooh. supposed to... Yuck. That is a card. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, wow. So I guess we are now... We have to expert a bird so they're farther away from that, right? Yeah, you can attack first, but yeah. So let's let's attack. I mean, they never. This is like a zero percent of the time block from them. I mean, you can let them untap, right? Because you can respond to them playing a a third white thing. a white creature. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about too. No, oh wait! Just oh, because the token kill a, is colorless. Kill a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so presumably we're going for a rank officer discard swamp now. <laughs> Attack for one. Love to see it. Yeah, I mean it's not blocking so. I think they're in kind of bad shape now. Ooh, interesting. So yeah, I think we... Oh, that could be so good if they play another white creature. <laughs> um, I think we just attack with the rank. Or whoops, we attack with the putrids and play rank, right? Yep. These just never get blocked, though, which is kind of the scary thing. Like... Can they kill us out of nowhere? I don't know. Oh, wow. I'm very, very surprised about this. Me too. Very. And I'm kind of happy that they're leaving the white creature there, which means they will probably play a white creature. Yeah. It does seem like that, right? So that... Or maybe even if they don't play a white creature, it feels like, oh, yeah, we also have the mob. <laughs> um yeah, but we might have to, we might want to to exile the mob. If they play a white creature here, flashback, that would be like pretty great, right? Yeah, I do okay. think we're casting mob now. Probably. Just hit the dragon heart. Yeah, and then for, yeah, absolutely. Do you just like concede and then here we, if you're the them? Mana. Like, you see that I'm tapping my stuff, you know what's coming. Um, no so... way I'm conceding there. Like, <laughs> Fair. Our board is, like, not really getting through this 2-2 uh, <laughs> very easily. I mean, a zombie can attack, and then we I can start exiting think... stuff end of turn. I actually think that we attack with the zombie and these three things, and we start draining with the rank. Okay. I mean, yeah. no... Actually, I think we just because of the scavenger draw, I think we wait a turn. And we have a yeah, rank. Okay. We have a rank activation anyway. I think this is better. Yeah, and if they actually play a white, maybe another changeling or something and then flashback that we have to force, which yeah. is very nice. That doesn't work. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Oh yeah. Ah, wait. Have... If they animated this, this would die too. That's sick. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> and it's it's not a may. Like if they had the uh white one drop or whatever. That would have been awesome. <laughs> okay. So now I think we just play the scavenger. Yeah, and we slurp some goblin and then we take out, right? Yeah. Slurp the expert. Do you care which thing we sacrifice 
I would sacrifice the expert because of uh, uh, ex auger. No, I, what is it? The unearth. Auger. Also because of the auger. No, I was thinking about uh, unearth. Yeah, that's fair. And that best targets the munitions expert. Okay. This could still be very bad if they have the white creature now after us like waiting with the force, but it feels like they do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this, the Silum Gas um, scavenger is still pretty good on this board, and the rank officer also does some damage, but them gaining life here is a bit annoying. Yeah, I mean, this is like really really horrible for us if we had <clears throat> waited then we kill three creatures like i don't know i i still think this is like pretty horrendous for us okay I mean, yes it is but also we are still okay so we just send the scavenger start just making yep. that chump okay i think and we can we, we have force Plus, we have officer yep. activation. Okay, wow. Did not think they would take it. Uh, what are the mass pumps in this set? <laughs> More knights, I guess. Then they're, yeah, they're for six. There's an overload thingy. Oh. Is it for six or is it for five? Stirring address. I think it's six. Yeah. Um, I guess we just activate. Yeah, I, I guess we do. Bizarre. So, so now, now they need to start chomping. Unless they can gain a life, yeah. Yeah, we take five. Um... Yeah, I guess you're right. So we can attack with the two two of the zombies here. This feels like it just has to be super bad for them. Oh wow. How about Oh, that's game over. That kills them. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray, we exiled the correct thing with the uh, rank officer, and it was because <laughs> you told me earlier. <laughs> All right. So up a game versus a pretty good red-white deck. I don't actually think the hero is a very good card, but, I mean, Battle Screech is obviously dumb. <laughs> so is this the Lava Dark matchup we are uh, waiting for the whole day? I'm not sure. <laughs> I actually... I'm sure that it's not a Diabolic Edict matchup this time. Yeah. I think it probably is the Lava Dart matchup, just because, like, even though it's not a great card against very many of their cards, it is good versus their best card, and that's, like, good enough, I think. Yeah. Goat Nap is not... What does it do with, with goats? You don't keep them, right? I think it's plus it three, get plus zero bonus? to a... Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, then not... Yeah, I because think... they showed the change thing. I was thinking maybe. Yeah, I think I like this swap. All right. This has been good so far. But also, our previous two matches have gone three games. Okay, I love this hand. Just hey. missing double yeah. black. I love it too. Let's hope they play. Is there a Savannah Lions in this set? Uh, there's one for three. The <laughs> right. That's true. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, double black. I think we still lead on. No, the... small. Yeah. yeah. You play the putrid goblin before the augur every time. I think. True. I feel really good about this. Like, oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I thought we. <laughs> I don't even know if we could lose this, like, I, I mean, I'm sure there's a way. Again again? It feels like it, right? 
Okay. So do we just pyro that? I don't know. Let's see what we draw. Hmm. I think I so, want to play Spectre. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I want that too. And do you want to attack? Probably not, right? No, I think I don't want to attack. Um, it's not a super easy choice because like they're low on cards in hand. We do have another blocker. Uh, I think I'm fine trading these though. I guess I will attack. Okay. I think it's pretty close, but... Next turn we have a few options. We can go Undead Augur into Pyro, or I think Undead Augur into... Yeah, okay, and this is like almost exactly what I was thinking about. Yeah. You can't really attack, like, yeah. So now we get to go, presumably, Undead Augur, Pyro. Um, just attack with both. Yeah, I think that's good. Seems good. Kill the cleaving. Yeah, I think that's the the better one. Technically, get this in pre combat if they want to block the putrid goblin. <laughs> yeah, but I think there's no way. No, I think they're just dead. <clears throat> We can even use the lava dart now if we need to. Okay. Yeah, that's so fine. Yeah, now we are mobbing, I suppose. Yeah. Do I block in lava dart? <laughs> no way. <laughs> that was a joke. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, that takes us off the hellbent. Yeah, That's but really... there was, like, no way to get... Well, I guess if we draw, like, War Party. <laughs> anyway. Still think we just do this and hit for six. You agree? I think that's good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, as long as we don't draw land, we can get Hellbent. Uh, okay. That's not very good for us. <laughs> oh, and they flash yeah. back on the Augur? Okay. Yeah. At least we're drawing one card all that. Yeah. And it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. I think I just kill that thing main phase. Not upkeep. <laughs> uh, what do we have if, though? Well, we have an undead auger. Hmm. Too many good options here. I'm sure it must be undead auger. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean, evasion is kind of relevant, but no, I think you're probably right. The undead auger basically gives the. Gives a putrid goblin uh, evasion. <laughs> Fair enough. If this were a zombie, we could lava dart it to uh, draw a card. <laughs> nice. Yes. That was clean. Very nice. That was very good. Yeah. All right. Thank you yeah, for joining nice me deck. for that. That was a lot of fun. All right. I will then, uh, thank you. I'll have to update everyone later with uh, what all the rares were worth as well. <laughs> yeah, you do awesome. that. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. See you next time. Yep. Thanks for joining me.